hello everyone welcome back um i'm gonna do this unboxing of what i got while i was away in the cotswolds and i wanted to thank you all actually there were so many of you are fans of the cotswolds or you live nearby i now have a new list of where to go on my next visit which well i hope it comes up as soon as because I just can't wait to go back there. I absolutely loved being in the Cotswolds. If my children and grandchildren weren't here, I would be looking at moving up there. I loved it that much. What I will say is my films are going to be a little bit delayed because I came home and I had the most horrendous cold. You might be able to still hear it in my voice. Um, I have an awful cough and I was so rough, I thought I had the virus again. I did a test, it was negative. If anything, I'd say I felt worse than when I had the virus. I really, for what, one whole day, 24 hours, I literally did not move. I felt awful and I, I'm not a big sufferer of colds because of my allergies I've got an overactive immune system so it's very very rare for me to get a cold and it, this cold just turned up at the blue about two days after we got home and it completely floored me but I'm all right now let's do let's do this unboxing um you would have seen last week's film Rio has I hope you enjoyed that, managed to get that out and now let's do this unboxing. I'm going to share outfit of the day with you, I hope you can see me, um, I'll try and pan that down a little bit but I'm wearing the Lily Silk jumper, I have looked rotten <laughs> most of the week and I just wanted to put something nice on and feel half decent so I thought yeah this is uh, not bad i really like it it's the first time i've actually worn this lily silk jumper this is cashmere you've got the collar you uh you've got the collar uh the detail on the sleeves as well this contrast it's very chanel like i think i've got the belt on as well from lily silk they've just launched their first little range of belts which is great and trousers these are actually really old. These are from L'Atelier. But I just thought it was a nice pairing. I'm feeling really bloated actually at the moment. I'm wondering if I've got a water infection along with this cold. I'm hoping not. But my belly feels huge. Anyway, uh, that is the look of the day. And don't forget, I've still got the discounts for Lily Silk. You'll see that in the special offers. I normally leave that at the top in the description box. So yeah, go get yourself a bargain. I am I can't wear enough of the Lily Silk brand at the moment. I'm so pleased with everything that I got. I've not worn the navy silk dress yet. I'm still waiting to wear that. Anyway, let's get in to the unboxing. Right, before we get into the unboxing, I just want to talk to you about something new. This is a new duvet by a brand called Rest and they've actually reached out and I'm partnering with Rest on this film. I've read all about the product and I thought it sounded great. This is like a thin duvet comforter that's got cooling materials and Lord knows how many of you are sweating and trying to keep cool at night? I thought this, the timing is perfect for me to share this with you. There's a discount code as well, so I'll leave that along here. Let's just try and get into it because I've not actually undone this yet. This actually arrived while I was on a holiday quite heavy 
would you call this a comforter or a quilt i'm not sure but we'll find out when we open it yeah so this is by rest uh, it says this bag is made from corn biodegradable eco-friendly now i know they're very big on the materials that they use and you know looking after the planet and being sustainable i'm looking forward to getting into this and seeing what it's like to sleep with oh there you go oh it's a lovely color i thought it was going to be more white but this is more cream oh wow oh it feels It feels like when you've got your silk pyjamas on. That's all I can say. It feels like silk. Um, now I know uh, I'm going to go through what this is actually made of. It's quilted. If you can see, what I'll do tomorrow, I'll make the bed up. I'm going to give this a wash now in the machine. It actually feels really cool. I'm sticking my hand in there and feeling how cool it is. Interesting. I bought a king size, by the way. Looking forward to seeing what this is going to look like on the bed. Right, let me tell you what it's made of. Right, this is called the Evercool Cooling Blanket Comforter. Now, I wanted, you know, I was going to try and digest all of this and spill it all out. But I thought, no, I didn't want to miss anything. So I'm going to read what they sent to me. This is... Uh, two times cooler than bamboo it's cooler than silk designed for hot sleepers and people suffering from night sweats such as women going through menopause Evercool uses the most cooling fabrics three times cooler than cotton two times cooler than bamboo 1.9 cooler than silk to help them cool down and sleep uninterrupted through the night. It's advised not to use a cover with this as well. You can just wash it in the machine. I already know that. I was trying to see on there what the actual material is. Right, so it's nylon spandex derived from renewable wood sources tencel home cellulosic fibers bring the gentle essence of nature into your home to create a sanctuary of long lasting comfort so tencel is the uh is the material but let me tell you it really does feel cold when I'm sticking my arm in here, it's actually cooling me down. I like it. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Like I said, I've got a king size. This is the thickness of it. So I will have a sheet under this, I think. I need to read up whether you should use a sheet or not, but I think I will. It's very heavy, very heavy, very weighty. Oh dear. Let me look on their website to see what this is made of because I want to let you know. Now this bedding also comes in a blue. I don't know if you can see that on my phone. It comes in a blue and a grey. I actually nearly chose the blue. Hyperenergenic. Pet friendly, of course Bo's going to love it. <laughs> they actually do sheets as well. I think they would be very interesting. 
calling sheets. So all I can work out is that the material is patented to rest, to the brand rest, and it's made from their Evercool patented material. Very interesting, but let me tell you, it feels lovely. I am looking forward to trying this. I hope it won't be too cold. Very, very nice. It's quite thin, but weighty. So you want, oh, it just feels lovely. Very much like silk or bamboo, I would say. My sheets are bamboo and that's, this is just what they feel like. Anyway, tomorrow I'll get this on the bed and I'll let you know how we've got on sleeping under this. It'll be very interesting. It actually, you can feel the call coming off of it. It's really strange. I'm excited to try it. I'll keep you posted, ladies. Anyway, let's get into this unboxing. Right, looking forward to this unboxing. Um, hope you can see me okay. It's been blaring sunshine and I don't know if we've got a storm coming. I've taken all this time to get ready with this cold. And it's blackened. The sky is black out there. And I've just finished getting ready and I thought, I don't believe this. Now it's gone all dark. But anyway, I think, I think it's going to be okay. I don't want to have to get a light out. Anyway, I'm going to start off with everything we bought from the beginning of the holiday. So, the first place we went to was Dalesford, wasn't it? I didn't actually buy anything at Dalesford. I did say in the vlog, I thought it was way too expensive. I, for what I could see there, I could get a TK Maxx for half the price. So I thought, no, I'm not going to buy anything. I wish I'd have tried their butter. Their butter looked interesting. I eat a lot of butter and it has to be pure butter. Um, no, no oils. I'm allergic to palm oil. I'm allergic to most oils. Um, so, yeah, I wish I'd have bought some of their butter. I live on anchor butter. It's the only one that doesn't seem to make me ill. Um... And there was a few foodie bits there that Dee wanted to try, but they, it was just so expensive. So I didn't buy anything at Dalesford. I nearly bought some table linens. I thought they were beautiful, but again, very pricey. And then we moved on to Station Mill Antiques. I absolutely loved that shop. In fact, me and Dee went there. I don't know if it was two times or three times. Dee nearly actually bought a ring in there that she spotted that she really liked. So that's what we went back for, but she didn't end up buying it. There was a reason, something about the sizing. Um, yeah, but we thoroughly enjoyed the Station Mill Antiques. And I'm going to show you the first thing that Dee bought me. She's absolutely beautiful. This planter for the garden. She weighs a ton, it's very, very heavy. She's got a couple of marks on her eyes, look, but I don't know if I'm gonna leave that as it is, or if it, you know, it's just part of her age. She's quite pitted, but yeah, I love her. I think she's absolutely beautiful. I was over the moon with this. I spotted it and I'm saying to Dee, oh, I love that head, and she bought it for me. So. I felt very, very lucky. Uh, the other two things that I got from Station Mill Antiques, I bought this dish. I thought it was lovely. Um, I'm hoping to put um, a unit, a slim, you know the uh, shoe units in Ikea. I think I'm going to get one of them for the hallway. And I thought this would look nice on the top. So you can throw your keys in it or whatever, you know. I, I just thought it was really lovely. So yeah, that was my other item. And I spotted these. Look, they're still wrapped. I've literally 
where I've been ill, I've not even wanted to. Um, all of this is how it came out of the car. I've literally not touched it. The only thing that we did touch was the food from um, Diddley Squat Farm. And I'm surprised that none of you mentioned the Diddley Squat Farm because I, that was one of the main reasons I wanted to go to the Cotswold because I absolutely love Clarkson's Farm. If you've not watched it, ladies, give it a try. It's so funny. And I think what he's doing is great. You know, he's supporting the farmers. Um, yeah, so I thoroughly enjoyed myself there. But this was the other thing at Station Mill Antiques. They've still got ribbon round. Butter knives. Now, I had a set of six butter knives a couple of years ago and I don't know if I managed to throw them away by mistake they just seem to disappear so spotted these and I thought they're what I want I think they're new I don't think they're old yeah pack of six there so really really happy with those they weren't expensive sorry had to stop then that was a lovely little coffin fit dear oh dear I'm hoping I don't have to have antibiotics. Anyway, right, what else did we get? Um, this is actually Dee's. Dee chose this for herself. She's not even unwrapped hers, bless her, so that I can share it all with you. And she loves all your comments, by the way. Her little debut in the film. This is beautiful. A little box. Super, super cute. I think she's going to put her cards in this. Um, game stuff. You've got a little drawer. And then the box undoes. There you go. Super cute. Dee really liked it. I like it. I think it's lovely. Nice little piece. It wasn't expensive again. They've not left the prices. Oops. They've not left the prices on anything. I think this was about twenty odd pounds. The knives were twenty odd pounds. I think we paid fifty pounds for the head. Yeah, not not bad prices. Not overly expensive. But yeah, I could have spent some money in that station mill antiques it there. So, oh, the basket. The basket for everything is in. <laughs> we bought that as well and it was £20 and I thought that was good for £20. Um, I'm just having my uh, airing cupboard sorted out and this is going to go in the bottom and I'll store some linens in it. Yeah, so... Really, really please. Right, let's get on to the Bista visit. First up, L'Occitane. Um, I spoke about this the last time that I went to Bicesta or Bista. I stayed at a hotel once and had their shampoo and conditioner in samples and I absolutely loved it. And when my son took me to Bista, um, on the way home, I thought, I wished I'd have got that shampoo and conditioner. So this time, I made sure that I came home with it. So I'm very much looking forward to trying this. It smells very lemony. Yeah, I can smell it, even though I've got a cold. But um, I, I think I've spoken about this on the channel before and quite a few of you are L'Occitane fans. Yeah, it smells lovely. Yeah, so I really look forward to trying these. I will keep you updated, ladies. They might have got a sample in there. Oh, they did. I've got a sample of L'Occitane Night Serum. Give that a whirl. What else did we buy? Oh, 
Holland Cooper. Now, I'm proper fanning over this brand. I, I could have spent money in there as well. I think this is going to be my new high-end, I'd call it, for me it's high-end, brand that I'd like to collect some pieces from. Uh, I'd say it's on par with Ralph Lauren, I guess. I bought this, it wasn't even on sale, it was full price, but I fell in love with it. I love the bougie packaging that you get with Holland Cooper. And it is the belt that I tried on. I like that HC. It's just a nice little touch, but not over the top of gold. I just thought it's tan, you know how I love my tan accessories. I am going to get a lot of wear out of that. So I'm not going to try it on today ladies, but I'm sure you will be seeing this belt a lot. And it wasn't overly expensive, I think it was 75 or £80. Pounds. It's expensive for a belt for me, but this is about as far as I will go price wise. But I just really liked it. I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of that. I made sure I tried on a few sizes as well. You know, for if the jeans are on the hips or if they're high waisted. You've got to think about that with sizing, haven't you? But yeah, really, really pleased with that. Um, What else? Dun, dun, dun. And of course... I bought something from Coach. I tried lots of bags at Coach. I think when Coach have spe a special offer day on at Bista, it's really worth looking at. I mean, this was reduced, and then I got an extra 20% off as well. That's my kind of shopping. So I spotted this one. I nearly bought the cream one. The padded one, I think you might have seen me try that on in the film. Uh, and I fell in love with it, but the more I thought about it was, um, I've got that cream one that my son bought me last year, and I don't wear it anywhere near as much as I should, because it's cream. Um, I'm a tan girl, tan or black, through and through, unless I'm going somewhere special. I don't know, it's just a little bit too dressy, the cream. It doesn't really go with floral dresses for summer, so I thought, no, I'm going to stick with something in colours that I know I'm going to use a lot. And here she is. Absolutely stunning. This little crossbody camera bag. She's a little bit screwed up. That's been in that bag since I came home. And I think... It worked out to about £170 for this, instead of it's something like £300. Let's have a look. I don't know if the price is still in here. Glasses. No, no price. £143, it was £143, I don't know what the price of it is normally, I think I looked it up online and I think it was £9,300, so that's not bad, that's like half price. Um, yeah, you've got a little back pocket there, you've got a side pocket, oh and a little card pocket at the front, but yeah. This is a good size for me as well. I don't carry a lot of things in my bags. And I just know I'm going to wear this really a lot. Right, now. Let me show you what I got from Diddley Spot Farm. Now Dee bought sausages. She bought pork pie. What else did she buy? Oh, some seasonings. A cake. She bought cakes. She went quite mad in there because Dee loved watching the Clarkson's farm. 
just I watched it all to start with and then I kept saying to Dee you really need to watch this Clarkson's farm because I'd love to go and visit and uh, she was like oh I don't know if it's my cup of tea but it's so comical it's so funny a lot of it and I talked her into it and once she watched it she said yeah I want to go as well so we've got we've got a bag of crisps in here hand cooked crisps made with potatoes from the Disney Squat Farm so we've got them she bought me a cow juice bottle now you you buy this in the shop and then you fill it up via the cow juice machine outside the shop I, I wanted this to keep in the fridge so uh, I didn't fill it up but yeah I love it it's all dishwasher proof as well so I just wanted a nice bottle to store my milk in and now I've got one so I like that um, a chopping bowl with Diddly Squat Farm on. Dee proper sport me while I was away. <laughs> she really did. Um, oh, bee juice. So I've got some Clarkson's bee juice. Yeah, absolutely loved the visit. And we actually went there a couple of days before we actually visited. We we drove down there and we was hoping to get in and we went quite early in the morning and the queue was just going, it was just so long. I don't know how long I would have had to have waited to get in there. So we drove off and just went driving. I think that's how we found Station Mill actually. Um, and then we ended up just going on the off chance on the way home so that was like the last visit and a cup Dee bought herself a cup I'm a with sheep it's a bit of a rude word but yeah she liked that so that's what Dee bought yeah so that's it I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea now who knows what this week's vlog will bring. I've got, what have I got on this week? I need to get to um, b and I've got to do some shopping in there. I want to go and buy some plants because I'm replanting a couple of pots in the garden. And we need to get into the skincare. I thought I'd definitely do that this week. So over the next period of a few days, I'll be sharing with you what that new bed spread is like from rest and how it's worked out how we feel sleeping in it and yeah going through the skincare with you as well so i'll speak to you tomorrow morning everyone just washed the hair um i've just used the l'occitane what is this even called vervine yeah, Vervine. It's very lemony, but like I said, I had samples of this and I loved it. And I've been wanting to try it for ages. So we'll see how the hair turns out today. Although it needs a good colour. I've got about an inch of root at the moment. And uh, it needs a cut as well. Right, let's go through this skincare routine. Now I'm going to cleanse, I've just had a shower, I always cleanse my face out of the shower. Um, I'm going to give this Japan Fusion a go from Beauty Pie. I have been using uh, Judith Williams Royal Collagen. Now I spoke to you all about this. I've used this for about four months I think. It's a very, very good i would say bog standard cleanser it's just like um a soap if you like it doesn't dry your skin it's just like a foaming cleanser but you need a tiny amount like a pea size gel to foam cleanser royal collagen is in there so yeah i was very pleased with it and i've still got about i must have at least a quarter of the tube left so budget wise that worked out very well 
Yeah, so today I'm going to start off with the Japan Fusion Cleanser. Let's see how we get on with this. Pure, pure transforming cleanser with antioxidant, vitamin C and grape polyphenols. Right. What is this glass of that? I have got my glasses, that looks silly. Right. Massage a small amount onto the face and neck to remove your makeup and dissolve surface oils. Add warm water until milky. Yeah, so it'll go milky. I'm actually, I'm going to use that much. I'm actually looking forward to using the a spa kit that I got as well. But this came first and I know you've all been waiting to hear about the beauty pie. Oh, actually, that's coughing and having to edit the coughing out sorry it actually feels quite oily so it's like a balm a balm cleanser feels nice yeah that oil is completely gone trace free i can feel it and I don't mind that, I hate it when it leaves that oily residue. Yeah, feels nice. Yeah, that's okay. Um, serum. I'm going to use the Well Serum from uh, Mantle. Now, look. The reason I'm using it is for the CBD. Are, are any of you using CBD creams? Because it's transforming. Look, it's gone. I don't know, I, I added this into my favorites haul, the Mantle Dream Mask. This is for at night. This was one, one of the few creams that you put on your face and you think, wow, that made a difference. Now I'm using the Well Serum. This is a, a vitamin C and CBD elixir. And it's got like a, I have actually used this a few times by the way, and I like it. It's got like a goldy tint to it. It doesn't really show once it's on. But I can only assume that it's the CBD that is really making the difference because I use vitamin C a lot, don't notice a lot of difference with that. I've never used CBD before, but boy, it works for me. It's really nice. And it's not overly expensive, the Mantle brand, compared to some that you can pay for. Actually, talking of serums, this was the serum that I was using. Uh, Dr. Barbara Stern. That's not focusing because the bottle's clear. Look, it's all gone. I loved it. This was very hydrating. But would I pay £200? I think, I don't know if it was 100 or 200 It was very expensive. I loved it. Would I buy it? No, I wouldn't buy it. Not, not for that price, but it is nice. Right, the good old Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. Every morning, every night, without fail, I never use anything else. And I've just come to the end of my tube. So I've cut my top of my, I've cut the top of my tube off. And look how much, there's about four months worth of cream still in there. And I'll use that on my cuticles as well. It's just the best. That's my Desert Island product. I'll never be without that. Right, now for moisturizers, I tend, oh, where's my SPF gone? I did pick it up. For SPF at the moment, I'm using the ARC. This is Protect and Prime. Yeah. Skin Protector SPF 30 and Primer. 
I won't use any other moisturiser other than an, a new eye cream that I'm going to be using because I think in the day when you squirt, that's how I end up getting those big pores. So, so long as I've got my primer, I don't mind. And the only other thing that I'm using would be the Beauty Pie SPF 50, but I don't know where that is. But when it's really hot, definitely go for that. It's their Milky SPF, but I would use a cream with that as well because it's so light. And new is the Banish Instant Lift Eye Cream. I'm quite excited about this. I've used it once. Didn't notice a lot of difference, but apparently it brightens, depuffs, and lifts your eyes. Now, I love the Banish brand. As you know, I use the um, micro needle in this area for my larger pores. I use that once a week. This is their new launch. They sent me a little gold spoon. I only need a tiny amount. This has actually got glycolic in it as well. That's for the brightening. Um, notice an immediate lifting effect after use. Formulated to be safe and gentle enough to use in the delicate eye area. Great as a primer before makeup. So it says eyes appear more awake and lifted. Light and dark circles. Reduction of puffy eyes, reduction of fine lines around the eyes, increased firmness due to the increase of collagen. What does it say about ingredients? Green tea, peptides, witch hazel, and then you've got collagen enhancing, matrixil, COQ10, provitamin B5, vitamin C, licorice, lactic, glycolic and phytic acid, plant-based hyaluronic acids, squalene and glycerin. Yes, yeah, so there's quite a lot of stuff in this eye cream. I look forward to reporting how this works out. You only need a tiny amount, I know that. But I'm going to use this every morning and every night. I get dark in here, as you know. That's where my dark area is. And I've still got that left. We'll have a little lift of the face as well. <laughs> I'm not going to waste it. So that's it. That's my morning routine. Like I say, I'm not going to use any other moisturiser at the moment. I'll use a serum and I'll use this because it's great. I've used it before. I know it's good. I love the art brand and that will be enough for me through the day. I also use the Hyco eye drops and of course my vitamin B12. I'm just going to do that now. going to get dressed. What are we going to do today? I'm going to go shopping. I think I need to go to B&M. So I'll get dressed and I'll see you in a bit. Right, change of plan. <laughs> oh dear, I was going to go shopping, wasn't I? But uh, I am just really not feeling it today. I'm going to have a really easy day. So we will have to go shopping in the next vlog, I'm afraid. I am literally not going to do anything today other than put the new bed spread on from rest. I, I want to finish that up and... I'd like to show you what it's like. So I've not slept under it yet. It's washed up fine. I just put it through a quick wash and uh, I'm gonna put it on the bed and I will be jumping in there in the next few hours because I feel rotten, ladies. I've got no makeup on because uh, it would just come off my face, I think. I'm constantly blowing my nose. I'm constantly coughing. I thought it could be hay fever. I thought it could be hay fever. I took one of my mega allergy tablets that I have and it's not made a blind bit of difference. So it's definitely a cold. 
because a few people have said you know it could be hay fever um but it's not i feel rotten anyway so it's a very easy outfit of the day this is a dress from h&m uh yeah the ruche dresses cheapest chips they're lovely to just lounge around the house in i think i wear these a lot in summer I think I bought this one last year. I've got a few. I've got black. I've got white. Um, and then I'm wearing this shirt from Glassworks. It's a great cover-up. It's great to go over these strappy dresses as a little cover-up. And very, very comfortable. That's what I want today is comfortable. Uh, Vionic flip-flops. The most comfortable thing in the world. I've had. Th I think these are in their fifth year. Uh, they're a lot more expensive than your average flip-flop but boy are they worth it they're so comfortable you've still got the arch support in the foot on these yes so that's the look of the day so let's go and do this bedspread i'm excited i'm looking forward to sleeping in it tonight just to see what it's like i'm very intrigued to see how it's gonna keep me cool but warm enough fingers crossed it will it's really cloudy today, as I, I think I said that, but it's very warm still, very warm. Let's go make the bed. Right, here it is. It washed up fine, few creases in it. Um, Dee did want sheets on the bed because she said it wouldn't feel right her preference so I've still got my um, bamboo sheets on underneath and I'm going to put another cover the green one over the top of this as well just in case in the night we do feel a little bit cold so let's do this It amazes me how thin it is and yet how heavy it is. A bit like a weighted blanket, if you like. Oh, it's plenty big enough, that's for sure. Actually, pulling that out as well you can't see a crease in it so that is marvelous I'm pleased about that who hates ironing bedding oh not got the energy today that's it put the throw on Right, there we go, it's on. I've put the throw on, the green throw as well, just in case we need something warmer. You can see how thin it is now, but it feels, it feels like luxury, ladies. This is lovely. Don't forget the discount code. I'm going to put it across the screen again now. Um, and I will see you when I'm in this lovely little chariot. In the next few hours, I will put pyjamas on, of course. <laughs> Let's get in. Oh. I think any bed would be good for me right now. It's just about to get dark. I wanted to be able to film this getting into this snuggly duvet it feels lovely it does feel cool but i can feel that it's getting to the temperature of my skin already but as soon as you move you hit a cool spot if that makes sense it's about quarter past nine at night 
and I thought I'd just have an early night. You can hear Bo shuffling about on the floor there. Yeah, it feels really nice. I always swap the pillars over because I like my silk pillowcase to be on the top. And I doubt very much that I will use all three of these pillows. There's normally two on the floor in the mornings when I get up. But yeah, I turned my light on just now and I went completely orange, as did the room. It's just getting slightly dark now, so I just wanted to catch it on film. It feels lovely. Lovely and snuggly. I'm surprised Bo's not jumped up yet because uh, she always comes and has five minutes on the bed. It feels nice. I've got plenty of water. I've taken paracetamol. Hopefully tomorrow will be a brighter day. And I can already tell this is going to be fine. I was worried that it was going to feel too cold because when you touch it, it's cold. But it actually soon changes and it's like it regulates to your body temperature. So I completely get it now. So I'm going to read a book now, watch some TV. I'm going to take it completely easy fall asleep and I'll let you know how we got on in the morning because we'll see what Dee says about this as well. I actually feel warm enough, definitely warm enough, definitely not too hot. Yeah, I think it's going to be really good. See you in the morning. Good morning everyone. I do actually feel a little bit better today. I have the sorest nose. I went to bed really early, as you know. I thought I'll have a read in bed and watch some TV, but I must have completely conked out. So that's what colds do, isn't it? Hello, Bo. She's waiting to go for her run and that is not happening today sorry and all that anyway the quilt was lovely to sleep under it doesn't make you warm it doesn't make you cold that's the best way i can describe it it feels really cold to touch once you're underneath it, it seems to regulate the body temperature. So you just your body temperature. It's lovely. I spoke to Dee this morning, and she really likes it as well. So yeah, I I thought she was gonna feel the cold because it's so thin, but heavy at the same time. But yeah, she loved it. So onto a good one there yeah I was really pleased with it the temperatures have dropped here a little bit so it will be interesting to see what it's like when it gets really hot again because I know we're in for some hot temperatures again and I'll update you all again on how you know how it goes I love that you can just throw that in the washing machine as well it's not too bulky to go in so yeah really good but on that note, I'm going to leave the vlog here, ladies. Sorry it's not been very exciting this week, but I need to get over this cold. We've got a fashion video coming up next. You can really hear it in my nose, can't you? I'm completely blocked up. But anyway, we've got a fashion video coming up next week. I think I'm going to be doing another accessories haul as well because I've had some a lot of new pieces come in and they're all accessories so I thought it's going to be another accessories haul anyway thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this film that's been a little bit nondescript but anyway 
please give a thumbs up I would really appreciate that and if you're new and you did enjoy this film please subscribe love to you all I'll see you in the next one